Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit ComlexFlashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Let's review some interesting cases in pre- and post-operative care. Each of the following methods helps reduce the incidence of wound infection after elective colon surgery except mechanical bowel cleansing, oral antibiotics effective against aerobes and anaerobes, a single preoperative parental dose of antibiotic effective against aerobes and anaerobes, or postoperative administration of two to four days of parenteral antibiotics, or operative time less than three hours. So the question is really asking you if you know what uh, you can do to decrease the incidence of wound infections after a person has had elective colon surgery. And a common scenario here, you want to make sure that many clinical and um, experimental studies have looked at the optimum bowel preparation and preoperative regimen for elective colonic surgery to reduce the postoperative infectious complications of wound infection, as well as intra-abdominal abscess and any kind of a leak. Currently, a post-operative rate of wound infection of only 5% can be attained by combining mechanical cleansing, oral antibiotics, and perioperative parenteral antibiotics. The type of mechanical cleansing does not matter as long as it's effective. Also, preoperative oral antibiotics should be administered only the day prior to surgery and should cover aerobes and anaerobes such as neomycin and erythromycin. Um, parenteral antibiotics effective against aerobes and anaerobes like cefotaxin should be administered on call to the operating room as a single dose or no more than 24 hours post-operatively. So the answer here is going to be D. It's post-operative administration for two to four days of parenteral antibiotics effective against aerobes and anaerobes. The recommendations, as we just mentioned, are a little different. Both antibiotic regimens, the um, neosin, erythromycin, or cefotaxin, um, yield maximum prophylaxis without fostering resistant transformation of microbes. Operative time greater than three hours and a procedure that is extraperitoneal into the rectum are associated with an increased risk of infectious complications. So that's an overview of you know how to manage patients post-operatively who've had colonic surgery.